Hello, it's Jason Payne for Cool Banker Dean Hopper Realtors. Well, I'm back up in one of my favorite master plan communities of Vintage Oaks in New Braunfels, Texas. And the reason I'm here is because the lot you see behind me, I just put on the market. I'm the listing agent for this lot. So feel free to reach out to me if you're interested in it. The address is 1237 Salt Lick. It is in the newer section of Vintage Oaks. I do like this lot, it has a lot of potential. So let's not just talk about it. Let's go check it out. All right, let's check out the lot from the front. You can see I put this little arrow here just so if you're driving out here in Vintage Oaks, having trouble finding it, you'll look for that arrow. But also look for the fire hydrant. That is great for insurance and it's a great marker for that corner of the lot. And the other lot marker is over here, kind of where my truck's at. So this is a wide lot. I don't have the dimensions right off the top of my head, but I will have the survey listed in additional docks in MLS. Um, but this is on a cul-de-sac and that's a really benefit because you don't want a lot of traffic in front of your house. And that's ideal for it. Very, very quiet. You don't hear any road noise around here, which is also nice. There are a couple of homes already being built, but this is a beautiful lot. Let's go ahead and head down and I can show you kind of where the ideal build site would be for this lot. Now look, we're at the uh, right hand side of the lot as you're facing it because the developers carved out a nice little path for us, which is very handy. The setbacks for the build site is 50 feet from the road. This little marker is uh, indicating 40 feet. So let's get right where the minimum setback distance for building your house is going to be right around here. So the yard, this lot does slope from the front to the back, but the front section of the property is relatively flat. Well, hill country flat anyways, but it does slope from the front to the back. So you are gonna have some steps going off your back porch if you did build your house on here. It all depends on just how big of a footprint the house has on it and uh, how deep it is. So let's kind of go walking into the interior portion of the lot, looking for a little clearing here. This location here would be kind of a typical distance from uh, the front of the house to the back. You can see the post up that way. But let's walk into the interior. All right, here's my path. And we do have some nice oak trees. Um, this beautiful oak tree here will stay there because it's right on the property line. No need to build. You can't really build up to the property line. This oak tree is also a nice one. Uh, and we're probably about 15 feet off the property line. So a lot depends on the width of the house. During the building process, a builder is going to want 10 feet as a minimum cleared so they can build around the house. But you can see we do have some more nice big oak trees back there. But if this is your build site, this is relatively flat. It does have a little bit of slope at the end. But this could be where your back patio is, your deck, overlooking these nice oak trees back behind here. And as you can tell, if you're looking for like initial landing off your back porch, this is relatively flat and you can have all these cedar and underbrush crap cleared out, making this a pretty nice little backyard. And I'm going to show you more of the sections where I recommend making the backyard. Now, this is a one acre lot. So typically people don't try to maintain the whole one acre. So they just kind of figure out what section of the lot works best for them. Okay, now I'm at the other property line. What part of the backyard and how much they want to have as maintenance for bringing in your dirt and your lawn. But you do have some more beautiful oak trees back there just looking through the cedar. I thought about trying to walk down here on this property line, but the developer hasn't cleared it so we do have a lot of cedars and stuff and I don't have my iPro on me and yeah, so I want to go ahead and just walk down the side that's been cleared.
But like I said, unfortunately that oak probably wouldn't last through the build site because this here is probably an ideal spot for where the edge of the house is. But this could be your backyard. And I wanna walk you down, down the slope a little bit, kind of show you the highlights. And for those non-military folks, iPro is any eye protection. So I love you guys, but I don't want to lose my eye getting poked in it with a stick. All right, like I said, we do have sloping from the front of the property to the back, so I'm stepping down now. Uh, <clears throat> this section here, like I said, we just came down a nice little slope. Not too dramatic, but then it kind of plateaus out again. So if you were bringing in grass and building this up, I would have this as your grass and lawn area, clear out all this underbrush crap. And this makes for a pretty good sized backyard. All right, let me try to walk along here. You do have a natural barrier with this little wall drop off <clears throat> so you got this stone wall this is kind of where I would have my lawn and grass back this way and uh, leave this stuff natural because you don't want to be mowing a whole acre all right let's keep walking back here and kind of checking this out <clears throat> so this is a pretty nice backyard Having these oak trees as your barrier for the yard portion. Like I said, still relatively flat. So if you had dogs or something, you some of these lots out here just drop off a cliff and the back there's just no usable backyard. This one doesn't drop off a cliff, it just kind of tears down a little bit. All right, this is about as far as it can go without having to come in with like a machete and clear out some stuff. But you can see there's some more oak trees tucked back in there. So if this was all grassed up and uh, they'll bring in some dirt, smooth this out, put some grass. This is a really nice backyard. Like I said, with some quite nice oak trees. All right, can't be a full tour unless we go all the way down to the edge of the property. And this property goes all the way down to a little creek. And when I say creek, don't freak out. This is not in a floodplain. It is just community drainage. We are on the Texas Hill Country side out here. So a lot of limestone. And a good thing about that is it does make the ground rather porous. <clears throat> all right, where's my path? There it is. So you're not going to see a lot of standing water up here and that's a good thing for keeping the mosquito population down because standing water is bad in texas because yeah you don't want those mosquitoes all right coming down this is the section where i wouldn't worry about trying to maintain a yard but just clearing out some of these cedars can definitely open up your view you might want to keep some of them just for shade purposes, but just cleaning them up, getting rid of this low hanging stuff, and then having them go up that way. All right. Make sure I don't trip and fall. All right, coming back down. So here's where it really starts to kind of slope down toward the back of the property. So like I said, rather slope down at the back of the property than right off, 10 feet off the road. And now you're spending tons of money on foundation cost and you don't have a usable yard at all. But this yard could be usable. This is the creek bed for just a community runoff. This is going to be, well that pink ribbon here, that's the back corner border of the property. So... All of this space here, especially if you come out with a chainsaw, 
and a couple of your buddies and to kind of clear some of this out or what I would do, pay someone to come clean it out just so it's a little more pretty and a little more walkable. I didn't get that. <laughs> Could you try again? No, thank you, Siri, but I appreciate the help. All right. <laughs> yeah, gotta love Apple devices. Always helpful. All right, I'm gonna just walk up to the back of where I think the ideal build site is again. Sorry if I'm breathing heavy. It's pretty hot out here. And I was walking out here quite a bit trying to figure out what I'm gonna say about this lot on the video. All right. All right, we're kind of back to where the back of the build site would be. So all of this could be your house. Whew, catch my breath here. But I definitely would recommend if you bought this lot, have your builder come out and give an assessment of it. Or if you're thinking about buying it, builders are always willing to do that. And please don't think you're inconvenienced a builder for having them come walk the lot before you put an offer in. They want to do that. They want to win your trust and hopefully you build a beautiful custom home with them. So don't hesitate to call your favorite builder and have them come walk this lot to give their own opinion. I am a real estate agent. I am not a building expert. So bring someone in that is an expert. All right, build site, build site, build site. This will be kind of the front of the house looking up at the road. All right, that's going to wrap it up for this wonderful lot that I have listed. Um, I'm not going to give you the listing price as of today. We're early August, but it will be in the description box. And I'm doing that by lessons learned. So if there is a price reduction down the road, hey, I don't have to reshoot a whole video. I can just update that comments that... Uh, price in the description box anyways if you like this video feel free to reach out to me yes i know prices are definitely high right now because they're just not making any more lots in this beautiful community so what's left is what's left so uh that's why prices are up real real high so if you like this community you better grab your lot all right make sure you hit that like button subscribe to my channel and uh keep sharing these videos with your friends and family all right i'm gonna go use some water all right take care now